Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of Survivor with Morecambe. Today we travel to the MK Dons. Things have been going alright since we've last been together, although we've got a lot of injuries to cope with. So let's first of all take a look at the treatment room. Where it seems to be at the moment, we get one back, we lose one. So Farad Rawson is out for up to 8 days till the 1st of April. Ryan Cooney has pulled a knee ligament but he is back and should be back in the next couple of days. Donald Love is another one. He has got a fractured toe. He's out till the 1st of April as well. And Courtney Duff, as we already knew about, he is probably going to miss the rest of the season. But following that win over Fleetwood last time around, we had a good result against Bolton. We probably deserve to win it, to be fair. 90th minute own goal from Samu with a heartbreaking moment, really, for us. But signs of progress. We did the opposite to Shrewsbury Town. They went in front through Bloxham, but Cole Stockton got on the score sheet to give us a point. And last time out, it was an impressive win over Oxford United. Cole Stockton, I've got him firing, thankfully. Two goals for him on the day to give us a 2-0 win. So that has improved our situation somewhat. We are off the bottom of the table, albeit on goal difference from the MK Dons. Still five points from safety, but upwardly mobile, I think would be the expression I would use. Cambridge United have fallen into the bottom four, losing five out of five for them. So we're closing the gap on the sides above us. Can we continue to do it at Stadium MK? So here are the two starting lineups for this one. Coming starts in goal for the MK Dons. Lawrence, O'Hora, Lewington, Garbert, Smith, Devoy, Robson, Dean, Kai Kai with Kaiseido up front. We start with Ripley in goal, Davidson, Delaney, Badu, Melbourne, Taylor, Crowley, Shaw, Gahua, Stockton with Mellon alongside him. Having to chuck a young player in at the deep end at right back because we basically have no other option at the moment. Ryan Cooney is on his way back from injury, obviously. MK Dons have got an abundance of talent. They should not be in the position that they are in, but they are there. And we have to stay above them. That is the biggest thing today. Come on, boys. Let's do this. In fairness, I've been very happy. I've been so happy with the way it's gone so far. Two wins from our four games. Unbeaten in those four games as well. The tougher tests will come. We've got Portsmouth to come, who are at the top of the table. Plymouth people like that but we've got sides around us that we can beat and um, we've shown we're capable which is more than we've seen before that sniff into Devoy Ross looking for Kai Kai gonna have some problems down there isn't he Davidson with Kai Kai I'm not looking forward to seeing how this goes as he comes down that left hand side swings the ball into the area he's on his own Ripley with the save looking over the top for Kaiseido headed forward Crowley will flick it down to Shaw those two in the centre, they are very important. They've been playing very, very well. Taylor's on the right. He's got Stockton short of him, but he's trying to go around the outside. Goes back into Delaney. Onto Crowley. Start again. Looking over the top for Taylor. Two in the centre already. Colt Stockton's gone to the near post. Plays it back into Taylor. Goes back in towards Mellon. Heads towards goal. Tumming tips it around. Good play. Unlucky. Yeah, there's quite a few Morecambe fans who have made the trip. To MK on a Tuesday night. Fair play to them. Davidson. Back inside his own penalty area. He's got composure, this kid, though. I'm happy to put him in the side. Mellon is in behind. Can he score his first goal for me? Come on, Michael. Oh, almost. Almost. I do. Plays it short into Shaw. Do once more across into Delaney. Sends it over the top. Looking for Stockton. He's a nice ball in behind. He's rolled it across to his mate Mellon. Well done. They've worked together. It's a good finish from Michael Mellon. He's off the mark for me at least. And the two strikers combine to get us in front. It's a lovely ball over the top from Delaney. Ping in behind. It's not a high line from the MK Dons. He's timed that very well. But he has played in his strike partner. Who said they couldn't work together? And that's what I was praying for, that they would start connecting. We've gone up a couple of places. Team with the ball towards the back post, looking for Kai Kai. Heskett's header on goal, and Ripley tips it away. 
complete the clearance, but MK keep it in play. And Shaw will deal with that nicely. Coming with the free kick, goes short into Ohora. Guess he would have gone long with that, to be fair. As they're a side that like to knock it around, MK Dons. Good challenge. Won the ball. Mellon trying to get on his head on it. Stockton will pick up the loose ball. He's giving it away. Smith into Devoy. Robson. Kaikai is open again. We've got to try and close him down. Robson goes for the shot, but puts it well over the bar. Ripley with the goal kick. Sending it long down the field. Looking for Stockton. He flicks it on towards Mellon. He's in behind again. Can he find a second goal? He can! He won't stop scoring now, will he? Michael Mellon with the second goal. And the two strikers combine again. Simple, this stuff. Long ball from the goalkeeper. Flick on from one striker. Flicks it on to the other one. In fairness, he powers it into the net. Gets away from the defender. And he just rifles it in the top corner. That's a beautiful finish. 2-0 Morecambe. The away fans are having a beautiful day out so far. It's only half an hour in. Garbutt looking over the top for Cado. He's got in behind. He has got in behind. Hmm. That's that's disappointing. Cado pulling one back for the MK Dons. And as they do what we do. Garbutt sends it long. <laughs> over the top. I don't know what we do here though. Connor Ripley... Shouldn't be beaten at that angle. But we should defend that a lot better. 1-2. I think he might be going off anyway, Kato. Shaw with the free kick. Can he get it over the top of the wall? He can. He puts it wide off the post. Unlucky. Free kick. Garbutt with it. Ball towards the back post. And we get it away. I don't know who headed it away. Someone did. Dean. Trying to go low. Good block. Keep him out of the penalty area. Lewington. Cross into Devoy. Will he have a shot? He's come inside the penalty here. He's got the shot away. Ripley with the save. And that is half time. MK1, Morecambe 2. They're having the better of the possession, which is very unlike us. So far, so good, though. Need another goal. I say this every episode I've ever done. We need another goal. We do. The two strikers are performing well together. That is beautiful to see. Exactly what we need. If we're going to get out of trouble, you need your striker scoring goals and you need your defence keeping things tight. Got one out of two at the moment. Crowley goes for the shot, puts it well over the bar. Fairness, if we can tighten up the defence, we will get out of this no problem. But I'm quite happy outscoring teams if we can do it. Mellon flicks it on, looking for Stockton. Trying to combine again, but you know they're working well together. Ball over the top, he's offside, surely. Kato is in behind, good save. Connor Ripley took that in the face. Robson, Crowley intercepts. Taylor. Come on, Jake. Do something with it. Comes down that right-hand side. There's bodies in the box. If he can find Menem on a hat-trick, he is. And he's headed away by O'Hora. Robson will pick up the loose ball. Goes early. He heads it forward, but Robson picks it up again. Kato is the danger man for the MK Dons as Kai has got the ball. Don't let him get the ball across the front of goal. It's a good block. It's a good block from the defender and the goalkeeper there. Kai Kai keeps it alive. Shaw heads it clear. Kaido has gone off. Moisa has come on, though. Taylor with the ball on the right. No, Garbutt beats him to it. Kai Kai's away. It's two on two. MK are stretching the game. Need to start tracking back a bit better as well. Devoy in towards Sunny Kai Kai. And Ripley has tipped it over the bar. To make a change in the engine room. So we're going to take Crowley off. And we are going to bring Jensen Weir on. Ryan Delaney, good for 45 minutes. We've asked him to play an hour. He's going to come off. Liam Gibson is going to come on. And we are going to bring on Caleb Watts for Ganua. Kai Kai's gone off as well. That's good news. The Keck room's on. Changes flowing at the moment. We go into the last 20 minutes. McKechran's got a free kick. He's good at these, but it's hit the wall. I know he's been booked for time wasting, it would seem. It's flashed up. McKechran with the corner for the MK Dons. 20 to play. Starting to turn the screw. They have most of the second half. Ripley's got the ball. You cannot afford to take your time, Gonna. Unfortunately, on towards Stockton. Smith with a challenge. They're starting to bite into those challenges. Ripley, he might well have come for that. No, but who gets it away? Garber into Robson. Starting to creak a little bit. McEachran with the shot from distance. Ripley with a good save. Bit of encouragement on. I'm not sure if that's going to help or not. We've got a free kick ourselves. We're with it. Over the top of the wall. No. 
blocked by the wall. It's out for a corner, though. And it's going to be Melbourne to take the corner. Can we get this third goal to kill off the MK Dons? It's been biting at us for the last 40-odd minutes. Melbourne's taking his time. Ball in towards the near post towards Mellon. O'Hora heads it away. Watts has it on the edge of the box. Back into Melbourne it goes. Low looking for Mellon. He's offside anyway. Right, let's make that change. Stockton off. Hunter on. Yeah, we're going to think Osterford on. We're going to take Shaw off. That's what we're going to do. Get some fresh legs on in the centre of the park as we look to close this out. The free kick, McEachran. Once more, we had a good one earlier on. It's hit the wall again. Wall is doing its job. We are hanging on for dear life. McEachran with the ball in. Ripley has got it again. Into the final 15 seconds. What an away win this would be for us. This would be three wins out of five. We are doing everything we can to stay in League One. Do is taking as much time as the referee will let him. Hunter will try and keep it in the corner, will he? He will certainly do that. He will go down as it's Stewart who whacks it out of play. And that should be a lot. Hunter has got the ball. Take your time, Ash. Don't need to rush. The two strikers combining to get us three points on the board. And there they are. MK Dons one, Morecambe two. It was tight. It was tense. But we got there. Let's see what it's done to the table. And it gets us within striking distance of making our way out of the relegation places. But Port Vale have got a game in hand on us. That is the only caveat. But three wins out of five, I would have bitten your hand off for that right at the start of this. So hopefully the next time we see each other, we will be outside of the bottom four. We play Blansley. We'll play Plymouth. We'll play Portsmouth. We will come back for our first look at the Mazuma Stadium when we take on Wickham. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I will see you for Wickham. Goodbye.